Good morning, friends in St. Augustine. It's a great and beautiful day. God will bless and surprise us today. As one community, united in God's love, He is inviting us to set our hearts aflame. Let us mark ourselves with the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus had come down from the mountain, great crowds followed him, and there was a leper who came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Then Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded as a testimony to them. The Gospel of our Lord Reflection Nothing should come into our lives so that we forget what God has done for us. Even when we experience terrible things in our lives, pain, death of a loved one, financial crisis, tragedies of nature or acts of God, the departure of a friend and mentor, the pandemic which has gripped the world for months, we should not forget our relationship with God. Yes, God may have allowed those difficult events and times to come our way, but God did not do it because God is angry with us. God loves us more than we could ever imagine, and God will allow good things to come out of the worst tragedies in our lives. I am reminded of one of my favorite passages in Scripture, Roman 8 verse 28. We know that all things work together for the good of those who are called according to the plan of God. God wants us to benefit and grow and develop even from the most difficult situations in which we find ourselves. God will see us through and bring out the best for us healing us, renewing our spirits, and bringing us back from our place or state of exile. We may have to endure being surrounded by enemy forces, including a powerful virus for a year and a half, and then be taken away from all we value. We, however, must continue to remember the graciousness of God and never forget what God has done and is doing and will continue to do for us. Obviously, that is a difficult task as we struggle through the dark days in our lives. We wonder if we will ever be joyful again as we feel oppressed by the circumstances in which we find ourselves. The physical, emotional, or spiritual pain sometimes seems unbearable we ask, will this challenging time and experiences ever end? Sometimes we just about get to the point of throwing in the towel. Yet, that is when we must remember our relationship with God. God is with us, even in those most trying times. The problem is made worse when we forget that God is with us. We need to keep on saying, Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you, O my God. When I am faced with tough times, am I tempted to forget the goodness of God? Let us now pray the prayer to Santo Nino. O miraculous Santo Nino, we come before your sacred image, moved by love and by hope. 
and we beseech you to look mercifully into our troubled hearts. Let your own tender love, always inclined to compassion, mitigate our troubles and alleviate our sufferings. Take from us, if it be your will, all afflictions, and let us never surrender to despair. Grant us, Señor Santo Niño, the special grace we ask from you today. In all humility and with a loving trust, and for the sake of your sacred infancy, hear always our prayers. Be generous with your aid and consolation, that we may praise you in the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.